Perhaps your biggest challenge is to identify when to use specific positive attention. The best time to attend to your child is when she is where you want her to be and she's doing what you want her to do. By reinforcing your child for her appropriate behavior, you are practicing shaping her behavior. At first, you may need to reinforce her as often as every 10 seconds, but as she learns that she doesn't need to request your attention, she'll maintain her appropriate behavior for longer periods of time. Other generalization sessions using intermittent reinforcement will include more real-life settings simulating your home and community that will give you the opportunity to practice all the skills that you've learned. For example, you may have practice sessions with other children, your child's siblings, or other adults. These may take place in the classroom, in the session room, or in other areas of the RIT building. You'll work with your case manager to determine what types of sessions you will run. Another important part of the generalization process is working in the RIP classroom, where you'll continue to practice and refine the skills you learned in sessions with additional children, toys, and schedules. Remember that you are the only one in control of your timing of instructions and attention. You choose when and how to reinforce the behavior of children in the classroom. Have, when the timer goes off, what are we going to do? Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Good job. The skills that you're learning in generalization sessions will help you manage your child's behavior, allowing you to practice in a safe, controlled environment. As your child matures, he'll certainly develop new behaviors along the way, and these behaviors may create new challenges for you. But by using these skills from your practice sessions at RIP, you'll have more confidence to manage any situation.